just stay up here with you guys. With you, Chase. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy RoboPanda15 here, bringing you another YouTube video, and today we're going to talk about Overwatch and what makes it so unique. It's a first-person shooter, yeah, but it's very, very different. A lot of people that do play FPS games, they come in, they try to play Overwatch, and a lot of them actually end up not liking it as much because it's so different. Now, we're going to go over the facts on why it's so different and why a lot of people love it or don't love it. Because this is a game where the first time you play it, you're not going to have any idea what you're doing, but you need to know how to have fun and still and still try to get your team to win. So I'm gonna. I've been, I've been playing for about four or five days now. That's why I haven't been on the Xbox a lot lately. Sorry, Xbox guys. Sorry, uh, any teams that have been trying to get me for Rainbow Six Siege. And I also play a lot of first-person shooters as well. So that's kind of my background on all this. Kind of what I know what I know the difference is between Overwatch and a lot of the first person shooters out there. I played Halo, I played Rainbow Six, a lot of the Rainbow Six actually, um, COD, Battlefield, all all the major first person shooters that you know of I've probably delved into. So let's get on into this. First thing, why Overwatch it, it's so unique, it's so different of a game because unlike other first person shooters where your skill matters a lot, it doesn't matter nearly as much when it comes to the actual combat in the game. The actual combat in the game is very, very heavily dependent on team-based play. More so than Battlefield and Rainbow combined. Rainbow and Battlefield, you can get aces, you can do all that, all that fancy shit. If you guys have played competitive Battlefield, you know what I mean by aces. You can do all that fancy shit. You can you can just absolutely destroy teams as one person. Overwatch, not so much. You're not going to be able to get anywhere near two, three pieces unless you're using the ultimates. And even then, to pull off those ultimates, you need the support from your team. You need your team there at all times. You have characters like Reinhardt, who has the big shield that he can have in front of him that you can shoot through, with that your team can shoot through if the Reinhardt's on your side. And having that Reinhardt with you is so very, very important. It, but the thing with Reinhardt is that you need teammates around him. He cannot do the job all by himself. I've seen a lot of Reinhardt players lately, and they a lot of a lot of really bad Reinhardt players. They'll use their shield. They they'll push up themselves with their shield, and then they'll try to pin an enemy down and swing at them. And next thing you know, they're behind enemy lines, getting shot up by the by the entire enemy team. And the rest of the squishier characters that need that Reinhardt's protection are now left in the open with no protection to move forward. That's not really a good way to play Reinhardt, and it's it's something that you, you really need all of the members of your team to understand the character that they are playing, because these characters are fun, they're very, very unique though, and they all require a different play style. For instance, D.Va, you can kind of play her in a couple different ways, but most of the time she's that bruiser tank. She's the one that's getting behind enemy lines, messing up the enemy a little bit, and retreating you know, bugging the enemy so that we can actually get stuff moving, we can get the payload moving forward, we can get them straying away, the enemy team straying away from the objective, all that kind of stuff. Lucio, which is the character I'm playing in this video, he needs to stay with his team a lot because that's how he's going to get his heals off primarily. And a good Lucio player, I'm not saying I'm good, I'm just saying I know how to play the character very well, he will be able to keep his team up and running at all times and keep them moving forward. That's the important thing with Lucio. Unlike Mercy, unlike uh, Genji, or not Genji, unlike Mercy, unlike Zenyatta, he can actually move forward with the team and he actually does bully off a lot of other characters because of his passive healing ability. He doesn't need to single target heal like Mercy, he doesn't need <clears throat> he doesn't need the discord and harmony orbs like Zenyatta. He can push forward very, very aggressively with his team. And a lot of times you will see Lucio mess up some tanks and bully off a lot of tanks because he's just doing that chip damage all the time. So th if you have to understand what kind of character you're playing, understand what kind of role they fit in with the team, and understand the position they need to be in the lineup. For instance, you got your first line and you got your back line. 
Widowmaker, of course, the sniper, everyone loves her. She's definitely a backline character, but if you need to, you can play aggressively frontline with her. But you will get more use out of her playing in the backline and sniping out the opponent, or playing on a flank with her and sniping out the opponent. Widowmaker is kind of a diverse character, and I do recommend Widowmaker to anyone that's come from other first person shooters because she is a sniper character, but she does have an assault rifle function as well. So if you're new to Overwatch, I highly recommend to pick up Widowmaker or Soldier 76. Both of those are really good characters to have. But even so, they're not going to be able to clean up entire teams by themselves without their ultimates. And even with Widowmaker's ultimate, Widowmaker can't do a whole lot uh, with her ultimate. Her ultimate's more team based. However, I've seen some really good Widowmaker plays where they do 1v3 a team because it's just amazing placement. That's another thing with Overwatch. Your positioning on the map is key. Your teammate awareness is key. And I do recommend every new player to play a healer, play a support character for a lot of their matches because that's where you're going to get all that knowledge of situational awareness and teammate awareness. Uh, in this match here, you can hear me calling out a lot of the times uh, to tell my team, hey, come back, hey, push forward, hey, we need you here, come back if you need health, because I'm always keeping an eye on my teammates, always making sure that they have the health they need and making sure that we don't lose this game, because it does end up getting kind of close at the end here, but we do manage to hunker down and hold it. So Overwatch, it's, it's a difficult game to get into because you have to not rely on yourself as much, but rely on your teammates. And that's why I'm so glad that Blizzard's initiative in this game is to push good sportsmanship and good teammate, te teammate and good teamwork in the game instead of the hostile communities that you see in COD and Battlefield sometimes. You know, you got the Battlefield elitists that if you don't play a certain way, they get really pissed off with you. But really, in Overwatch, everyone works to support each other. And that's something that a lot of players that get into Overwatch from COD and Battlefield, they don't really understand it that well because it's so unique and new to kind of wrap your head around that idea. Anyone that's played Halo will actually have an easier time getting into Overwatch, actually, because Halo you actually do need to work with your teammates a lot more than you would in a lot of other first-person shooters. And that's because of the health pool that you have in Halo. You have the shield, and then you have the health bar. Uh, Overwatch is, mo is a lot like that, except it's just all out raw health. Sometimes you have armor and all that crap, but what, none of that matters. I'm not going to just go into that this video. But for a lot of people that want to get into Overwatch but have an issue trying to, I highly recommend playing something like Halo, or I highly recommend playing a support character, kind of getting into that role that you're going to need your team. Because if you try to rush in there with Soldier 76 or with a Widowmaker thinking that you're going to be the star of the game, you are going to be in for a rude awakening. Because this game is so much different than other first person shooters and that is what I love about it. The teamwork is so key. So much more key than it is in even Rainbow Six. Rainbow Six you hear that all the time, teamwork makes the dream work. Well in Overwatch teamwork is you winning the game <laughs> whoever has the better teamwork better communication better use of their characters will win other than that guys uh, I kind of rambled on this video I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of it panda checking out So open. 
when you look in the mirror, do you like what you see? Drinking and smoking and talking, I'm hoping you soaking the words that you said you would be. It's like graduation made you second guess your goals. And this life did beat you down, but it was you who dug the hole. The same just getting old, but we're only getting older. Yet you say this world is cold, but my heart is growing colder. Cause nothing with you ever gives, and maybe that's how it is. You and I do got history, but history is all it is. Shit is that? Can't say I wasn't expecting that. Lied every time that we spent together. Should have felt the night before.